Apple is preparing for yet another major showcase, and this time, it isn't just about the iPhone or Apple Watch. The spotlight is shifting toward professional hardware, ecosystem growth, and devices that could redefine how people work, create, and interact at home. The upcoming Apple October 2025 event is shaping up to be one of the most strategically important keynotes of the year. Every fall, Apple has a rhythm, June is for WWDC, September focuses on the iPhone and watch, but October has always been more unpredictable. Sometimes Apple skips it. Other times, it becomes the launch pad for some of the company's most game-changing hardware. This year, all signs point toward October being a pivotal chapter. We're talking about M5 Max, upgraded iPad Pros, next-gen smart home devices, updates to Apple TV, and even AirTags too. Some whispers even suggest a Vision Pro tease, hinting at where Apple is taking its bold experiment in spatial computing. Why October matters in Apple's strategy Over the last decade, Apple events have become almost like a seasonal calendar for the tech world. September pulls global attention because of the iPhone, but October is often more laser-focused, targeting power users, professionals, and early adopters. In 2025, this October could become the most influential in years. By dropping new Macs, iPads, and accessories right before the holiday season, Apple ensures that its most premium hardware captures attention when shoppers are at their most active. Apple isn't just rolling out updates, it's pushing forward a bigger narrative. The October stage has historically been home to milestone moments, such as the Retina MacBook Pro reveal and major iPad redesigns. Now, the company is looking to cement its leadership in silicon, expand into the smart home space, and set the stage for its future with devices like Vision Pro. The M5 Max, a new era of performance. The highlight of this event will almost certainly be the M5 chip family. Apple has moved aggressively through its silicon roadmap, from M1 to M4 in just a few years. But the M5 isn't being treated as just another incremental step, it represents a major architectural leap. Based on the A19 chip that already powers the iPhone 17 Pro, the M5 chips are expected to bring energy-efficient cores, a redesigned GPU, and a much faster neural engine optimized for Apple intelligence and AI-driven workflows. The MacBook Pro 14-inch and 16-inch models are first in line to carry these chips, with expected variants like M5, M5 Pro, and M5 Max. Early reports suggest enormous GPU improvements, especially for the Max version, which could give creatives and developers a new level of freedom. Imagine 3D rendering in Blender, editing 8K video in Final Cut Pro, or compiling massive code libraries, all faster, quieter, and with longer battery life. Some insiders even suggest up to 30 hours of battery life in certain workflows, something that would shatter industry standards. While the external design likely remains unchanged for now, Apple is clearly saving OLED displays and big aesthetic tweaks for 2026. That said, the internal leap alone could make this MacBook Pro refresh one of the most attractive upgrades for professionals in years. iPad Pro with M5, the Pro tablet reimagined. Next up is the iPad Pro refresh. Earlier in 2024, Apple finally gave the iPad Pro an OLED display, delivering the kind of deep blacks and contrast that creative professionals wanted. But this fall, the upgrade is all about power. With M5 chips inside, the iPad Pro is set to close the gap even further with MacBooks, making it not just a secondary device but a true professional workhorse. For artists, animators, and 3D designers, the iPad Pro could soon rival desktop performance, running apps like Nomad Sculpt or Shapper 3D with ease. For photographers, the M5 could allow seamless raw editing in Lightroom or Photoshop. And with Apple pushing deeper into AI integration, creative apps could soon automate and enhance workflows in ways that feel futuristic. But perhaps the most exciting rumor, dual front-facing cameras. This would be a first for iPads, solving the long-standing frustration of awkward video call angles. One camera optimized for portrait, another for landscape, seamlessly switching depending on orientation. If true, 
This change would transform the iPad Pro into a much more versatile communication device. Smart Home Expansion, Apple's Next Big Push One of the most overlooked but increasingly important parts of Apple's ecosystem is the smart home. While Amazon and Google have gained an edge here, Apple has been steadily building HomeKit and positioning itself for a bigger move. This October, we may finally see Apple step into the mainstream smart home conversation. Rumors include a smart video doorbell that could rival Ring, new smart sensors and thermostats, and an updated HomePod mini with improved chips, deeper AI integration, and even new colors. Since the HomePod mini acts as an entry point into Apple's ecosystem for many households, an upgrade here could dramatically expand Apple's footprint across living rooms, kitchens, and bedrooms worldwide. Additionally, the Apple TV could receive its long-awaited refresh. With competitors like Roku and Nvidia Shield pushing hard, Apple needs to keep Apple TV at the top of the premium streaming game. The new box may feature better silicon for gaming, improved Dolby Vision, and tighter Apple Arcade integration, making it not just a streaming hub but also a lightweight gaming console. AirTags 2, small but significant. Sometimes, it's the smallest updates that capture the most attention. The original AirTags were a runaway hit, helping people track bags, keys, and even pets. But users complained about battery life and precision limitations. Enter AirTags 2. Expected to feature advanced ultra-wideband technology, tighter Find My integration, and longer-lasting batteries, these trackers could be one of the event's sleeper hits. Vision Pro, the future still in play. Of course, there's one product that always sparks debate, the Apple Vision Pro. Its debut was bold but adoption has been slow due to price and limited app support. Still, Apple is committed to spatial computing. While a new Vision Pro model may not ship in 2025, whispers suggest Apple could showcase its roadmap, potentially hinting at a lighter, cheaper, M5-powered version. This would send a strong message, Vision Pro isn't a one-off experiment, it's a platform Apple intends to build for the future. Timing, why October is crucial. The timing of this event is no accident. Apple knows that launching M5 Max, iPads, and accessories right before the holiday season maximizes impact. For students, professionals, and families shopping for new devices, this creates a perfect storm of excitement and demand. By October, competitors like Microsoft, Samsung, and Google will have already played their cards, allowing Apple to swoop in and dominate the year's final stretch. The bigger picture, Apple's ecosystem in motion. When you connect all the dots, the October 2025 event is about more than just new devices. It's about showing how each piece, Mac, iPad, HomePod, Apple TV, AirTags, and Vision Pro, fits together into a single ecosystem powered by Apple Silicon and Apple Intelligence. The strategy is clear, seamless integration across work, creativity, entertainment, and the home. While September's iPhone event always steals headlines, October is where Apple proves it can still surprise us. From professionals needing raw power to families looking for smart home solutions, there's something here for everyone. This October could quietly become the most important event of Apple's year, laying the foundation for the company's next chapter.